Ladies and gentlemen, this week there has been some drama on Twitter, and I'm an esports guy, so I know esports drama. One of my last jobs was working as a professional Fortnite manager, so I know the parties involved. We're talking Ninja, we're talking Myth, and we're talking Stable Ronaldo. So I brought Kansen, who did some research on it, is going to show me the hottest Twitter drama of the day. Let's do it. I figured the best place to start with this stands on a deep dive into Ninja and the drama surrounding him is to do a deep dive into you. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh man, I've been making fun of Ninja for years. <laughs> for those of you that don't know, this is a tweet from The Stan Show, which is my former podcast that used to be Esportsman Like Conduct, which was a podcast in where me and HRF would talk about the biggest, the latest and greatest esports news of all time. This is from December 19th, 2018, and it's me making fun of Ninja, who was already burnt out by his success in Fortnite. Look at that. Look, look at this man. <laughs> he looks like a 45-year-old man who's just like, I gotta take my kids to school again you know it's just not yeah it's not good you're telling me that to do a deep dive into ninja drama we had to show this but do you know there's even more ninja drama you told me you tried to sign him and he big dogged you like early on in halo days or something right even worse i was working at team liquid at the time and we were talking to him and his team and i must have jumped on like 50 skype calls to talk to them all and get them contracts and how much do you want to get paid yes 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 and the reason why he pissed me off is he gave me this big speech in front of his team and this was when his stream was blowing up for halo which was like 200 viewers and he was like i go to these lands and these people tell me like when i lose at least you have your stream and i don't give a shit i throw it all away i'll do anything to be the best halo player of all time and then that night he signed a contract with cloud nine fucking scooped me and then became a big streamer so he wasn't even telling the truth about that so i've had <laughs> beef with tyler blevins since i was working in the industry it pisses me off man i used to look up to ninja now all he does is brag about money and make fun of people trying to make a career sad to see with love opinions for context ronaldo a former professional fortnite player showed up in this stream and was like hey what's up guys how you doing and this is ninja's response to that so also ronaldo is like if you're literally asking, like like one twentieth of our following and is completely irrelevant. So we should probably just keep opening teams. No, I love Ronaldo. Yeah. Ronaldo. Yeah, why, you, why are you hating that's on him? He, he tried to be an IRL streamer and failed miserably. So he's, you know. That's not Ronaldo. It's oh, oh shit! Hi Ronaldo. Sorry. I don't know why Ty fake. cooked. I don't know why Ty was cooking like hey, that. Ronaldo, I thought you were hey, a fake. Sorry. Hey Ronaldo, man, keep up on those you know mm. IRL videos, bro. You're killing it. Oh no. So that in itself is just horrible already. <laughs> just yeah. keep uploading those IRL videos, you're killing it. Okay, let's see what Ronaldo's YouTube videos are like then. Oh, he's doing boring. great. If you scroll back to a year ago when he was doing Fortnite videos, uh -huh. it's the same amount of views. Yeah. <laughs> so he didn't follow. I mean, maybe a couple popped off, but yeah. His IRL videos currently are doing better, if not as equal as the ones he was doing a year ago. So right. I feel like his Switch has done well. <laughs> it's a good move. Yeah. I, in my opinion, from the views that I mean, I've what Fortniteer is still doing well? I feel like Ronaldo actually made it out better than most people. Oh, Ninja, Tyler, you have 23 million subscribers and you get the same amount of views. Oh, <laughs> no. Hey, Ronaldo peaked when he was fucking playing Fortnite. I'll say it. <laughs> well, I'll say it is also so cool. Is he, is this a self-referential bit? Is Ninja talking about himself and like doing a silly thing? Like, cause everyone tells him he peaked in Fortnite. There's no chance, right? Even if it is meant to be received as that, I think that's being very generous. Uh, I, I don't think it lands. Yeah, I just think it's crazy because Ninja's not stupid, right? Like I, I think, and he <laughs> knows, like he sees all the comments that are not okay as well. Like everyone, like you fell off, Omega lol like you know go back to fortnite or whatever it's just it's crazy to me that you would say that about someone when you take like the majority of that heat right yeah oh, i mean i was going to touch on this later but we can uh pull this up now just Let's for context oh, we watched yeah. this whole video back in april 2000, oh we did yeah we did the sunny v2 ludwig's least favorite youtuber deep dive yeah because it's all about n why ninja's career died uh -huh. in brackets fortnite yeah um <laughs> and the whole video is basically saying how ninja's now doing whatever he wants and yeah. he's kind of chill uh -huh. uh, but the video is painting it in a really bad light and we still up for ninja like he's fucking
Kevin got the bag, he's doing whatever he wants, and uh-huh. he's still playing Fortnite, and it's fine. So it's so weird for someone to be in that position to then inflict that same pain onto other people. It's so crazy that I was, like, looking for an excuse of, like, no human being would do this, right? No one who has gone through this would, would say this about another human being. The one that's actually going to sit here and say oh, Dude, it. I, I mean, mean all now he's trying, every, he's trying to get... Of there's highs and lows. Lows. And he's trying to get into highs, drama. Highs and lows. And Drama? Didn't he just go in the stream and say hi? <laughs> Maybe uh, No, so there was obviously a conversation in the chat before that clip starts. Oh, oh before the whole thing. Ronaldo. Could you imagine if, like, Ronaldo was like, yo, I'm gonna go in chat, talk some shit, and then this happened and now Ninja's getting pilloried for it? <laughs> it would actually be He was so trying funny. to help out the boy. You're better than drama, dude, all right? Get back into the fucking competitive scene. <laughs> You're washed. What? I said it, dude. How does that make any sense? I, 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 I said what I said. He also doesn't play Fortnite. So, no. Yeah, the, your so watch doesn't make any sense. The rest yeah, of the sentence so is weird. weird. <laughs> it's like, you'd be better at doing this, but also, you'd be bad if you did this. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Was, Maybe he is actually blackout drunk off the truly. Because it, it, well, yeah, he's saying things true. that don't make sense to me like yeah. even even core yeah to, to get back to the competitive scene man. and then you also said you're washed, washed up it bro. Makes Listen, no I think Ronaldo, you're like a, you're like a way, combination man. of of fucking great game of clicks like oh my god i might be good at the game and like myth like you went to youtube and what happened you know Oh my god what he actually like that's why myth started talking about it because he calls him out yeah hey yeah, myth is just sitting here like what the hell out right what i said what Stop. i Damn, Tim actually trying to be the homie. Yeah, <laughs> hey, I honestly, I want to be Tim's friend. Chill. Your friend goes at the LGBTQ, you got his back. Ninja goes at Ronaldo, you got his back. Tim is a fucking road dog. And I didn't know that yeah. about him. That's crazy. Yeah, pulling myth in at the end, it's crazy. This whole clip is crazy because it's just so mean. Maybe he's so, like, oh shit, like this is mean. If I go over the top, they'll realize it's a bit. It's not far not enough. He needed to be like, I hope your family dies in a car accident or something. Right? You need something <laughs> so far. Um, okay. Uh, this is Stable Ronaldo's response. Appreciate the support from everyone and all the streamers reaching out non-stream moving forward. Yeah, I thought there was one more thing where he was like, this is the last thing I'll say. Let's watch this real quick. I want to see, I do want to see his okay. response. You're making fun of me for a thousand viewers, let's say. You are not only making fun of me, but you're making fun of people who have less than a thousand viewers. When a thousand... That's me, baby. Thousand viewers is like 0.001% of Twitch. When I first started fucking streaming, I had 300, 200. Someone's got to fix this kid's mic. <laughs> Wait, I, think that's I might be on Team team. Ninja just because of the headset. Hundred <laughs> viewers. Okay, keep in mind, I decided to stay on Twitch when I got offered eighteen thousand dollars a month from Facebook Gaming when I was 15, 16 Ooh. to two hundred viewers. Right. I decided I wasn't making no money. I decided to stay on Twitch because I believed in myself while you sold out, said <laughs> fuck all your viewers, fuck your community, and sold out for $50 million on a dead fucking platform because all you give a fuck is about money. That's why you're projecting on me because you're a little bitch. That's why. You're a little fucking pussy. He's I don't gonna give spin. a fuck. You know, my manager, Justin, told me, fuck it, he's catching straight still. He told me to keep it cool, but I can't. Because <laughs> Justin's catching strays, bro. Come on, do it for Justin. Because he manages me. He believes in my opportunity to grow. He believes in me to become a be better person. So I feel like this is going to star wipe into the Call of Duty montage. Don't! Break <laughs> me down! And then that's this feeling is hype, that's man. Coming at my manager, my community, and matter of fact, you coming at me way too hard. When you had a thousand viewers, I was fucking 13 years old supporting you. So if you complain about a thousand viewers, that means you don't give a fuck about that. You don't give a fuck about anybody. All you care about <laughs> is the fucking money. That's why I decided to get out of Fortnite because I don't give a fuck about that. My community hated when I played Fortnite, but you need to latch yourself onto that fucking game because you know when you try not to, it don't go your way. You know that. <laughs> it's corny. I never said anything about you ever. That is actually it. No one, I, I've i seen people in the chat. Desperation scream at the end is so Yeah, he's funny. mad, dude, because he not only did he support him, but he's not talking shit. Anyone who unironically takes Ninja's side here, I think is doing a bit, right? He's just actually a pure asshole in that clip. Uh, and Ronaldo's like, what the hell are you talking about? And then to include Myth in at the end, come on.
It's crazy having someone that experienced such massive ups and downs in their career and knows exactly what it does to you mentally be shitting on others that aren't as successful as he is. Yeah, and this is the same clip. And it, it is crazy. That's kind of what I said. We watched it, which is like, is this a joke? Like, it, yeah. Ninja's the one saying that? Ninja, I, I Ninja? I feel like you have to be very lenient to, like, very forgiving to be like, yeah, he's just joking. Yeah, there was, I actually read a lot of the comments, like, early on, and they were all, like, talking shit to myth. If you click on the tweet that I sent you, there's a thread that I thought we could look at. Oh, sure, instantly. yeah. He was yeah, drunk, yeah. though. Being drunk while saying or doing things doesn't excuse your actions. Bro, you're a square for that. Everyone makes mistakes. <laughs> I didn't response. see this first one. I thought he was just saying that to the to the main post. That's um, so funny. And then Myth responds, he's allowed to learn from this. Uh, yeah. I can still call out his BS. Mm -hmm. Very fair. I am a bit of a drinky drunker, uh -huh. if I do say so myself. The excuse of being drunk mm -hmm. and saying things that you don't mean is fucking insane, absurd, and stupid. Mm -hmm. Right? Like, I agree. You are saying, you are yourself. You are your human being, and you are just less inhibited, so you might say things that you really think that you're like, you're becoming more true, maybe, if you're, uh, if you're like... Yeah, drunk words drink. or sober thoughts is like the famous phrase, right? Usually exactly. being drunk just lowers your inhibitions to say things that you're thinking, and that is not always the case but uh, i think it's it's often true and so looking at it does paint it in a certain light and then there was a follow-up from myth yes this is actually i replied to this one because the dude literally what is it the rock the clipper or uh, keen you get you know the starcraft player keen let's get as fucking deep into react gifts as i can just looking down biting his lip and clapping that's fucking me wait one second one second one second this is me this is me reacting to that dude just oh Fuck yeah, baby. <laughs> mm, that's my shit, dude. Ninja reached out and apologized. Although I didn't accept his apology, I have no animosity towards him and don't want anyone hating on my behalf. Have a good day, everyone. Which is such a healthy way to end it. What we see a lot on the internet are people giving in to like the more clouded side, right? If you have yeah. less followers or less like sycophants in tweets and you're getting harassed, you just be like, hey, we talked it over. Everything's good now. Don't worry. But Myth made sure to call out the fact that he did not accept the apology. Uh, he thought Which it was wrong and his feelings were his base. Uh, and, but he still has no animosity towards him. He's going to move on in his life. It's like the Mad Men clip of like, I don't even think about you. You know what I mean? <laughs> yes, it's like, you do yeah, whatever yeah. you want drunk on your stream, but yeah, wait, this is over, right? So sick. Which I think is why some people had a problem with this response. What's the point of you announcing to the world that you didn't accept his apology other than to try and milk more attention out of the situation? Uh, yeah. Mitt did reply to that, because I think this as I think it, the answer is obvious, but if you don't, he asks him, what's the point of you announcing to the world other than the milk more? Myth says, the situation started in public, so the situation's gonna end in public. That's you know, something in business we call closing the loop on things. I believe it's important for people to see how things conclude or else you just leave everyone thinking shit for you. Yeah, be clear and concise with it. I agree with all that, but the tweet could have achieved that without, although I didn't accept his apology. And this guy hits him with the obvious, but then the announcement wouldn't have a resolution, which is Myth's whole point. Yeah, but I, I think you don't want people to think something that didn't happen, which is like Ninja apologized and I accepted it, right? This is such a simple answer. Okay, we have two more tweets to finish this out. Okay, let's do uh, it. It's Myth doing the Pine Grove Shuffle. I don't even know what the Pine Grove Shuffle is. <laughs> I thought you wouldn't know what the Pine Grove Shovel is, so I have a TikTok to show you to explain <laughs> what the Pine Grove Shovel is. You prepared! Fuck this world. Yeah, it's just sad boy posting, but it's like got a cool TikTok dance. So the, that guy, the first person, is the uh -huh. guy that started it. And right. then everyone started it. Does that mean I'm not a sad boy? <laughs> Uh, it means you don't go on TikTok. <laughs> I go on TikTok. I've never seen realize. this shit ever. But the final response, the last message that I want on this drama is our good friend, someone that would never do this to us, Nick A30. Yo, my boy. I know a man who would never say such things. <laughs> it's a fan cam. You think you're the king? I'm the king. <laughs> <laughs> oh crap. <laughs> crap! We gotta stop doing this because it sounds like we're making fun of Nick A30 when I actually think Nick A30's the GOAT. <laughs> In summary, Ninja better be doing the L dance on his own grave because Myth is the true W King. Cool, man. That's so and I rest cool. My case, Your Honor. That was fucking a, a W. <laughs> Thank you for putting this together. I feel knowledgeable on it. I don't know why Tyler said such hateful things, <laughs> and I hope he, I hope he cleans up his act. You know. I hope he pays for his sins on Jimmy Fallon. Yeah. <laughs>